Good morning, folks. Don't know why I thought this happened already, but just hours ago, a manual dock of the Shenzhou with the Changong Space Station was successful. Protesters in Tel Aviv got an unusually violent response from authorities. Wonder if that's because it was on Rothschild Boulevard. One example here of the many evacuations taking place due to the primary concern right now. It's Tropical Storm Debbie. She strengthened overnight. As we pull up the infrared loop here on NOAA, we can see it appears to just be moving north into the panhandle, but many models forecast a left turn and a slow crawling across the warm waters of the Gulf. Would be expected to hit hurricane status. Not much good news there. RSOE always shows the California quake swarm, Alaska as well. Europe usually has one too, but it's been gone for a whole day. We did have a couple of moderate quakes in Greece and Cyprus. 5.5 this morning in China. Slightly earlier, we had a 6.5 in Kamchatka. Interesting to note that the previous two six-pointers were way south in Australia and right next door in the Alaskan Islands. You might have guessed these higher latitude quakes always send L waves worldwide, Global Ringer. A minor quake swarm north of Alaska saw 4.2 as the largest tremor in the bunch. A heat wave is not what Colorado firefighters need right now. Again, the 1400 UTC flatline resonance begins. Ends the same time every day as well, and we also see instantaneous wideband variations as vertical lines near the end. The Earth footprint is near these active regions, but there's not much flaring occurring right now. The bigger circles here indicate elevated cosmic ray flux, and might be hard to see above it, but we're over 10,000 on the density, which is where I draw the line to begin and mentioning it in the news. There's confusion yesterday about ionization in our F1 layer. It is isolated from the F2 here, so you only have one thing to look at. As we go here to the last solar maximum, then back down into solar minimum, and then all hell breaks loose. You see the summer months are slightly out of whack, but look at the fall and the winter. We're not there yet this year, but again, last solar maximum last year. Southern half of the sun has a tiny coronal hole facing Earth directly above the southern coronal hole. It might be geo-effective in the coming days. A plasma filament has created a coronal cavity way up north. This is not a UFO sucking the sun dry. You can see a few more thin dark plasma filaments nearer to the equator in Earth-facing positions. Hold tight, little guys. And what we've all been waiting for, turning the eastern limb trans-equatorial, the return of the primary coronal hole. Can't wait to get a full view tonight. That's the news, folks. Be safe.